Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you uh, have come back and I hope uh, you bring others. <laughs> um, I'm Diana. Uh, my, some of my friends call me Di. So I'm Thrifter Di. I go out in search of treasures in hopes of reselling. So I I've said this in other videos, but since I'm pretty new here, I just wanted to tell you that I do some selling on eBay, and we do have um, a booth in a nearby um, antique store, so uh, we do some selling. We just do this for fun. It's just a hobby. I'm not that knowledgeable. There's lots of people out there on YouTube that are, and I watch them faithfully, and I think they're awesome. Um, but with that, I will uh, tell you that I have a small haul here for you today. And, uh, but first of all, I had a very odd experience with eBay just now. So, I have to share that with you. Now, I've had some odd experiences on eBay prior to this. This might be maybe the oddest. Um, I have been listing like crazy today, trying to get caught up on things. Um, so I listed several things. And some of what I listed, and I showed these in, the, in a prior video, are these little pins. They're called Lucinda House Pins. Some of you might be familiar with these. There's all different kinds. Every one is, is unique and different. They're like this. They're just kind of a 3D effect, layered pieces on a flat plastic thing with some kind of resin or something over the top. And it, oh, I'm showing it sideways, so hello. Um, so it's little houses. This one has a, um, kind of a almost Christmassy type. It's got some glitter. There are Christmas ones. There are Thanksgiving ones. There's all kinds. Everyone is different. And I believe the story was with these pins. And there it says, there's a lot of light in here. Uh, that this Lucinda uh, started making them for a fundraiser for her church, I believe. And they were so popular that um, she sold them all over. So, I listed these. I have, I believe it is seven. One, two, three, four, eight. No, seven. Seven of these pins. And they're all, like I said, all different. So, uh, looking at the comps, they're going for anywhere around six dollars to, you know, fifteen if they're really outrageously pretty. So, I settled and I spent three dollars a piece on these and so I wasn't expecting to get a ton so I put them on auction um, on eBay for $9.99 plus shipping so they're all on eBay right now not long after I put them on I checked and I had a watcher already on most of them and so <clears throat> I noticed that there was a notification that I had gotten a message and I read the message and it was from someone um, and she said to me, I think it's a she, maybe not, um, they said to me, uh, I'm, I have bids on some of your pins, I'm watching five of them, I would like to purchase all of them. For a buy it now. Um, would you consider that? And I thought, you know, and she mentioned price. So I'm thinking, well, she wants to buy them and for less, probably. And, and that was okay. I thought, well, I could come down to nine. I wouldn't go any lower than nine because I spent three dollars a piece on them. And, and I've sold these before, so I wasn't expecting to get tons out of them. So, she, so I wrote back and I said to her, well, what were you thinking? Um, so she wrote me back 
And she said, I was thinking $50 a pin. Now, I am dumbfounded at this point, and I, I, I was like, does she mean for all five? $50 for five, not a pin? And so I wrote her back and I said, do you mean you want to pay $50 for all of them or per pin? Um, and she wrote back and said, yes, she would do $50 a pin. So I wrote her back and I said, you know, I just want to make sure you know what you're buying. And I checked her out. She has, I mean, she has like 170 some purchases and positive reviews, no negatives whatsoever. And I'm like, okay. So I was, <laughs> I wrote her back and I said, or she wrote me back and she said, is that too much? And I said, I think that's quite a bit. I said, maybe we could go somewhat lower. And she wrote back and said, how about 20 or 25 a pin? She's serious. And I said, well, I would be thrilled to get $25 a pin. I would give you free shipping with that. So <laughs> I don't know where that's going to go or if it's going to go. <laughs> but I would be tickled pink for $25. I don't know that I would take that much. We'll see what she writes back. I may just go 20 dollars a piece if she's really serious if she seems to be a, a good buyer but who knows but <laughs> you never know i've had like i said several several incidents but i you know that's over the years you know i i used to sell huge lamps i would sell huge slag glass lamps on ebay this was years ago when it was cheaper to ship and I mean, I would, it always was people in California, and I'm in Indiana, so it would cost, you know, 70, 80, sometimes more to ship these big cast iron lamps. Uh, or they'd be in Texas or Florida, mainly California would buy. And these were, you know, several hundred dollars per lamp. So, okay, one of my last lamps that I actually sold because things, the price of shipping was getting so high, was a tulip lamp, a hanging tulip lamp. And it was a really nice one. And so you kind of know who's going to give you trouble right up front because you start uh, asking lots of questions and they kind of, uh, I don't know, it seems odd. Some things, and this kind of seems odd too. So we'll see where it goes. Um, so anyway, I get it all ready. I ship it to this person and this person writes back immediately that it's plastic, that it's not glass. I said, ma'am, it is glass. I know glass and it is glass, not plastic. I think she bought that for $150 or something like that. So she gets it, and um, then she, uh, she, before we even get done, you know, discussing it between the two of us, she <laughs> files a claim and tells, tells uh, eBay that it's plastic and it's not glass. I said, listen, it's fine. Ship it back. I'll pay you to ship it back. And I refunded all her money, and she shipped it back in pieces. Now the glass wasn't broken, but she had taken all the metal apart and it was a mess. But my husband put it all back together again. I took it over to the mall and sold it for $175. So you get into those things sometimes. But that's what business all, you know, that's business. So we'll see where this leads and I'll let you know how it turns out. <laughs> but I would be tickled pink. Okay, we have a small haul here from um, uh, auction, auction, online auction that, that I did on some things. And mainly I was going for, um, my husband does uh, some refinishing of furniture. So we were able to get a bench for him. And like there was something else too. 
a um, couple of small pieces for him to work on because he loves to do that. He's not interested in small things. I do all the smalls. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, naturally, I had to build on a couple things. Then I got some. I got some men's hats and uh, caps, I should say. And they've been in the wash and they're out drying. But um, I paid $6 for those hats. I got five hats. Two of them weren't any good, so I threw those away. But I washed the others and they're drying. But my husband, because we were having trouble getting furniture to, for him to work on, um, I suggested that he find old tools and have a little space for old tools and whatnot. So I put some caps in, a couple of caps in there, and they sold really quick. And I put them in there cheap, so it would draw people in. Sometimes you've got to do that. Um, and lo and behold, his tools are starting to sell because people are finding them. Uh, so anyway, uh, I got the caps for $6. And plus a buyer's fee. So, about $7. So, I washed those up. So that was one thing. This is another thing which I, this, I loved. This is a lot of two uh, shades that I was able to get. Oh, I don't have the ticket on them. I think I spent probably $9 on the both of these. This is a beautiful red satin glass. Um, it's just one of them, but it would look great on a, on a floor lamp or anything that needs one, or maybe somebody out there has those on their lamp and one is broken and here it is. So I don't know how much I can get for this. I looked real quick. I couldn't find any quite like this real quick. So I'm hoping, um, that somebody out there will need this beautiful shade. It's gorgeous. Red satin. The other shade that came with it is just a little guy like this. It's uh, reverse painted. It's painted on the inside. Very sweet. It's um, rather clear or maybe even light blue. It's hard to tell in this lighting. And goes to light pink with the flowers painted on the inside of it. And I think somebody would love that little shade. There's a lot of lamps that just need one shade or whatever. So um, I'm hoping to get a little bit for these two. I love them very much, especially. Well, I love them both. I think this one's quite quite nice. Red glass, you know. Then uh, I got... Um, get these over here so I don't chip them. I'm not much for... Um, clear glass anything but sometimes it's worth worth something but this was there and nobody had bid on it so I bid two dollars and I got it it's a beautiful beautiful perfume bottle with a stopper I love the stopper there were two of them the other one I've seen so many times that I, I just didn't bid on it but um, it's quite nice it's got little ears little tabs down here on three places and um, yeah two dollars so that's that's just the tag they use to separate the lots the the orange tag <clears throat> but I thought that was quite nice and it's quite tall as you can see there's my hand about, about over six inches I would say tall that's a nice one in this guy <gasps> and there again he's got his lot tag on. I'll take that off if I can get it off of him. Let's see. I like things like this. It's metal. It's a crab. We sell in the lake area. So um, things like this go real quick. And I believe I probably spent six dollars on this. Um, it also opens up. It's an ashtray, I think. Um, or maybe an inkwell. I'm not sure. I haven't looked it up either. But does it have any maker's marks? Absolutely doesn't. So, I'm not sure. Probably 15. Oh, let's go for $19. I'll bet I can sell that guy for 19 
It looks like he needs a little tightening up in there. So let's see what we can do about that one. That's all I got from that auction. So I liked it though. Thought it was great. Now my hands are really grimy. Let me get a cloth and a little. I put a little bit of alcohol on a cloth and wipe my hands here. So, and that wasn't wine. Darn it. Anyway, let's go on to this one. Now, in my area, it's very difficult to find nice things at a yard sale. I just don't have much luck. So we go to this townwide yard sale, and we're looking around, looking around. And in the last video, I showed you one place I stopped, and I got some nice things. So I, it gave me encouragement to keep going, because I was going to go home before I stopped at that place. And so, so we drive around a little bit more, and I stopped at another place. I walk up to the, the table, first table. I see a beautiful chocolate pot. It's gorgeous. I'm like, oh my gosh. That's the first thing I, you know, my eyes saw. So I'm walking up there, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So, I mean, it was, it was beautiful. So I get up there, and saw the price tag, $50. And I'm like, still, it's pretty awesome. Then I notice a big crack in the back of it. A big crack. It doesn't look like an old crack, but it was, I'm like, hmm, I don't know enough about them. To spend fifty dollars on something that has a big crack down the back, so I went. Mm. The rest of the things on that table were really high priced too. They were nice, but they were high priced. I thought I'm not going to find anything here because it was all nice stuff. I'm like, oh, I might as well turn around and walk away, <laughs> but I didn't. I looked at the next table over, and I saw something I liked, and I and didn't have price on it. So I said, How much is this? And she said, two dollars. Two dollars? Well, I don't know if this is old or not, but it's certainly worth more than two dollars. It's purple. Purple glass with all these bubbles. Can you see all those beautiful bubbles? How gorgeous is this thing? Two bucks? I was expecting her to say twenty after the other stuff. Now, that's what it looks like on the bottom. I couldn't find any type of markings on it whatsoever. It may be worth five bucks, but hey, I doubled my money. So, you know, that was pretty awesome. Then I picked this up. This didn't have a price on it at all. I think she charged me a dollar. Isn't that a neat little vase? And it's probably made in China. Who knows? It's got a very rough bottom. So I know it's not Murano. Because I'm pretty sure they polish them up pretty nice. It's pretty rough. Um, so I don't know. I haven't looked that up either. I haven't looked at any syrup. I haven't seen these things. In fact, some of, them, some of these things are still wrapped up. So I haven't even seen them. I've forgotten. I'd forgotten what I purchased. But this was... I mean, those two pieces of glass are awesome. Let's see what else I've got. And there's a couple others I remember. I really remember those. <laughs> but let's see what this is. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, I should remember what he is, too. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You get on camera, you forget what day it is. Look at him. He's a little clown. Now, I like clowns. I have a great big clown picture over here that's... I love. It's huge. All right, bring it over and show you. I may show you it. So show it to you sometime. It's an original big clown oil painting. But this little clown is darling. And I thought it was Boyd when I, I think Boyd, uh, when I first picked it up. And it is. I'm seeing it now. There's a bee on it. Now, these don't go for a ton, but she, get, she charged me a whole dollar for this one, too. And look at the color in that in that glass. This I think it's slide glass. I don't think it's like quartz or anything. You can see the the bottom of it there. 
but it does have the bee, a little bee right there on his bottom. You probably can't see that. Someday I hope to get a new camera that actually focuses. Okay, sorry about the crinkly paper. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, more glass. I forgot about this one. Okay, let's look at this beautiful, beautiful thing. Get some of that glare off. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Gorgeous. Now, this, well, before I take it off, I better show you. This was also a dollar. A dollar, and it's just, that's the way it looks on the bottom. No maker of any kind, but it's gorgeous for a dollar all day long. Wow, beautiful. Okay, we're moving along here. All that I want to wait and show you. Oh, no, I'll show it to you. Okay, sorry about the crinkle. Okay, I'm going to throw that down there for my kitty cat. This, this is what, this is what, this is what I saw right after I saw this one. I looked over and I saw this one. And since I got that one for, what was it, $2? I believe it was $2. Um, I looked over and I went, what a beautiful piece of porcelain that is. Isn't that pretty? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Do you love it? Look at that gold one there. Don't you love it? It's, I believe it would have went on a vanity. It would have had some other things to go with it. You know, perhaps a, you know, a powder box or a perfumer, whatever. But isn't that gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. Now I've got to put that back. Before I break it, no, nope, break it, but gorgeous. So I picked it up, and it's three dollars, as you can see that right there. And I looked at the back, and it says, Excuse me, Limoges, France. There's the um, hope you can see that green mark there, Limoges, France. For three dollars. I thought I'd went to heaven. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then now I don't know how much those go for, but we'll see. And then I thought I really went to heaven when I saw this. I I love the Limoges tray. Um, but this I'd never seen before. Now I got online and I, I realized there's a lot of it. But isn't this bell fabulous? Ah, can you see it? There's too much light in here to really see it well. Yes. No chips or cracks. It's beautiful. I think she charged me $3 for this. And she didn't want to give it up for that. I could tell. But she gave it to me for $3. Or sold it to me for $3. And I was like, that is the most beautiful glass I think I've ever seen. Now I'm in love with something new. And inside, it has a, a glass clapper. And it does say Fenton. Sticker there. It says Fenton Burmese Glass. Burmese bell, I should say, not glass. But I was like tickled pink. So, you know what? Someone has stuck that in there with tape. It's not a real sticker. I just realized that. Now, I know other companies made Bur Burmese glass. Sorry about the clanky. <laughs> so, I will look it up and make sure it is Fenton before I sell it. But I am in love with this. 
totally in love with this. I'm in love with all of it, really. I love everything I get, which is becoming a problem because I never used to get emotionally involved with things that I purchased. But I find as I'm getting older, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to give you that. <laughs> but I do most of it, unless it doesn't sell. And I have a couple of pieces that didn't sell that I, I just adored, and I was glad they didn't sell. So, anyway, that's my haul for this time. I know it was short, but I wanted to tell you the story. And um, I hope that you like some of the pieces that I have here. Oh, some of them will be going on eBay. Some of them will just go over to the store, depending on what I find on eBay. Um, there's lots of things, and they're not worth, worth much. Then I take it over to my store, and it, and it usually finds a home. So that's all I'm hoping for. Find it a new home. And uh, if I make a couple of bucks in the process, that's fabulous. Sometimes I don't. Now we have the lucky die. Lucky die. I'm going to roll the dice and see what it says. I know you can't see that, and I apologize. Someday I'll get a real camera. This one says, Dare to Dream. Hey, there, maybe you can see that. Dare to Dream. And I hope wish you all well, and I'm glad you tuned in, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Go back and see me. I have a gob more, a gob, gob, more things to show you, so I'm going to be making those videos up pretty quick and getting these things moving out of my house, because I can't make a penny if they're sitting here on this table. It's amazing. Have a good one. Keep trying. Keep Keep going. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.